Hey guys, I'm just gonna show you where I am with this build. First off, um, my name is Brandon. I'm the owner of Screw Swap Shop. We're here in Portland, Oregon. Um, this business just built. It was a hobby um, that my buddy Seth talked me into buying a Chinese scooter. And uh, my uh, other buddy Ed, we were jumping it, doubling up tabletops, just being total goofballs, and then it just kind of grew and grew. Um, but I've got Carter, I've got two employees. They're both the best mechanics here in, in Portland for this stuff. So um, anybody wants to do builds like this, just let us know, we can do it from top to bottom. This one's pretty complex, but uh, I'll give you kind of a rundown of where I'm at. Dino, Dino over there. This bike, we're gonna, I think we're gonna blow up at some point. We just have to find time to do it. Um, so anyways. Don't give me a hard time, it's a mess. I'm gonna go 100 miles an hour. So this bike, I've got less than a week to get it ready for Super Sunday. Um, yeah, less than a week, we're leaving next Thursday. I don't know if it's gonna be streetable, but we're gonna give it a shot. So, and also, I just wanna get this thing going and streetable and dialed, make sure the temps stay under control, the electrical and everything, and then next, um, next winter i'll rip the whole thing down and basically clean it up and, and go top to bottom but for now i just want to get this thing running so first off um twin cylinder engine what this is this is an oem piaggio case and then there's a kit made by cateno miano which is out of italy awesome awesome company um, they make a billet center with the adapter to connect the two cranks cranks and the ignition kit so it's basically here's a kit you go Here's a kit, you split the cases, you install everything on the inside, put it back together, and essentially you should have a twin. So they're 180 degrees out. These are two Stage 6 RT bores. Um, Stage 6, again, killer company to work with. Um, we had to do some machining to get them to fit because they're really tight. Uh, match transfers and everything on this as well. Stage 6 intake manifold, Stage 6 reeds, two Polini um, PWK28s. We just got the throttle cable work done yesterday, which was a pain in the butt. We had to basically make all these cables from scratch, solder, um, solder all the little ends and everything to get them to work. I've just got to kind of essentially calibrate them to make sure that they're opening and closing at the same time. Gas tank is stock size. That's not going to be very much fun. Um, not running a fuel pump in this. Took the fuel pump out, cut the cutoff down lower. Um, so not running a fuel pump. Uh, eventually next year, I'll make a whole tank they'll make a, a whole separate tank that that's twice his capacity because I'm probably going to get like three miles a gallon with this. So um, CC, 70 cc's per cylinder, so we're 140 cc in the range of uh, 40, 44 to 48 horse. It's, I'm, I'm not really sure at this point, but of course we only have, we can split the drivetrain loss in between two cylinders because essentially we're only, um, you only have this loss one time. So First off, I want to give a ton of credit to Ashley being Hot Rod Hell for dialing in <clears throat> and making this shock mount system and motor mount. I typically do all my own fab work, but I'm not um, anywhere near his his skill skill level. So um, he got this thing dialed last minute, and he's busy as hell too for Super Sunday. But um, he got this thing done for me. So again, amazing work. Couldn't be happier. Um, yeah. So. Anyway, so he did all that work for the, the motor mount and everything. Um, CR500 radiator, hoping it's gonna keep it cool. I don't know, I've got a fan that I'm mounting right here, 12 volt fan. Um, everything has to be low draw, because there's no charging system with this. Overflow, um, getting a, a 12 volt USB uh, charger here for cell phones and whatnot. I can also back feed it as well to run my gauges if I need from that USB. Helps me an electrician. Pipes, our Cateno Miano pipes, um, handmade, one off just for this because uh, they knew uh, the pinch I was in. I had Pyrel make me pipes as well that are also just as beautiful, um, but they're one on each side. And right now I just have to get this thing going so I don't have time to go back and forth with the pipes. Machine Machines did the wheels for me, absolutely beautiful. Again, um, they took a little bit of time, but it's one of those things where if you want something custom and you want it exactly how you want it, you're gonna wait for it. And I'm happy I did, because uh, he did amazing work. So, super happy. Again, uh, US company does killer work. So the ignition system has two pickups on it, one for each cylinder, 180 degrees out. So when I time this, again, twice as much work time. 
All these lines are really cool. I want to show you these guys. I get these out of Germany and we stock them. We're getting more, but it's selling really fast. So what's cool about this stuff is it's got a metal core or a metal lining in it. I should say wire, coil wire. And you can bend this stuff as sharp as you want and it won't kink. But be careful. This will slice you left and right. I've got blood all over the place from this thing because uh, it's really sharp. So if you're like me and you work and you just don't really care about wearing gloves, you're gonna have blood everywhere. So just get used to that or wear gloves. So up here, I'm gonna have four of these switches. One for each ignition, just because there's two completely separate ignition systems here and you can't wire them together in any way. And I don't wanna run a relay on this cause that's just more power draw. So two for two ignitions, one's gonna be the auxiliary fan. And the fourth one is going to be the second lighting circuit. I'm gonna have one lighting circuit. That's gonna be the high powered LED headlight and the COSO tail. The second lighting circuit is going to essentially be like a one watt uh, or a quarter watt LED in the front and a quarter watt LED in the back just to be quote unquote legal during the day. It's gonna be like a daytime running light. So I'm gonna have two separate circuits there um, because again, I don't have a charging system. So we're trying to keep it to a minimum. Mechanical cooling pump, cooling um, system is built into the motor so I don't have to run electric pump. So really the only electrical on this bike is gonna be the taillight, the headlight, this charging port, which is just gonna be an LED readout, shows voltage, um, and this gauge. So this is a Polini gauge, 1938 garage, billet mount here, Moss Carbon, whatchamacallit, whatever you wanna call that thing. Um, this is gonna show me cylinder head temps on my left and on my right. So this is gonna read my dual temps, um, and then it's gonna give me tack and voltage as well. I can program alarms and whatnot. I turn it on, but my battery's not hooked up. Uh, Voca, Voca twist throttle here. Really like the snaps back. Nice, nice quality billet. Um, and I've got Magura levers here. I've got to bleed this one still. I'm gonna take it off and bench bleed it because uh, I'm kind of having some issues with this. But really, really nice Magura levers. I've got one, one bled, but not the second one. Uh, on the front, RRGS legs lowered. Um, again, machine machined wheels. What else? Uh, let's see. So yeah, fans going in. Um, and then I've got a, just this guy's got a LED readout on it, shows me my voltage and I can back feed my electrical system with this as well. So essentially I can put in a, a put a battery pack or even a solar charger up here and plug this thing in to kind of trickle charge the system if I need. Um, front, I've got really, really nice NCY slam caliper. I really like these things um, better than the Frando or whatever that Chinese crap is. Um, sorry, excuse my language. NCY 260 rotor, and I made a custom billet adapter to mount that NCY Zoom 125 rotor to a ruckus style hub, moss carbon front fender. So, stripped all the junk off, off this bike. I don't need the electrical and whatnot, relays and all that stuff. So. Um, oil lines made oil filter services here in Portland, Oregon. They do killer work. Just trying to get this one bled. But anyways, this thing's gonna be totally stripped down this winter and redone. But right now my focus is cooling system, getting out the leaks um, on the coolant system, checking it, checking temps, wiring the fan, wiring the ignition, um, wiring the lighting, and then putting the whole thing back together and trying to tune it. So. There you have it. I'll keep you guys posted. I should be quite a bit further by the end of the day. And hopefully Monday, Tuesday, this thing should be rolling on the ground. So if you guys have any questions, ask away. Again, we build everything in house and we tune everything here. It'll probably go on the dyno. I'm just not sure when that's going to happen. We're getting pretty busy <clears throat> here. So um, I'm just trying to fit this thing in when I can. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Also, um, much credit to uh, Pyrel. These are the twin pipes he did for me. I just don't have time to put them on at this moment. So there you have it, Portland, Oregon. Um, yeah, that's what we're doing. I'll make another video when I get a little further along.